Hello and welcome guys. Uh, here I'm going to be showing you how to prepare a 3D model uh, for uh, 3D printing on the uh, Frozen Shuffle, a DLP uh, 3D printer. So first of all, uh, we want to go to uh, this website over here, asiga.com, product software, and we will be choosing STOM software, and then we're going to choose which version to download according to your operating system. After installing that, we can open the software, uh, Stomp, and I have choose, chosen uh, to print the Eiffel Tower. So I just uh, downloaded it from Thing Thingsiverse. Uh, after that, <clears throat> all you want to do is choose the uh, 3D model, drag it into the uh, Asiga software, and here we can uh, see the measurements of uh, the model. Uh, I'm going to try to print this uh, model in a total height of uh, 50 millimeters. So I just want to adjust the scale over here. Uh, let's say at the moment it's 120 millimeters. So let's go ahead and downsize it by 45, 45% and hit apply maybe a little bit more, let's say 0.95 again, 0.99 maybe, 0.97, okay, you can just adjust it until you get the uh, value as close as possible to what you want to achieve, uh, so I'm just gonna uh, try to downscale it until I got uh, 0.5 okay maybe this will do it all right perfect so here we can see that it's at 50 millimeters uh, height total height and the XY I don't really uh, matter uh, they're within the printers limits so it's fine next we what we want to do is go to file export slices and then uh, we just want to choose the right name let's say 50 mm height and we're gonna hit save at the slice thickness we want to make sure that it matches the profile that we will be using to print so the profile that I'll be using is at uh, 0.05 millimeters so we just want to make it 0.05 make sure that we choose it and we can leave this at default and press OK. It's going to be uh, slicing and exporting the model. And here on the right, we can see all of the layers uh, that the 3D printer will be printing. I'm just checking if this will be needing any support. Uh, I'm hoping not. Doesn't look like that bad. Okay. All right, looks pretty good. So uh, we just wanna uh, save that or copy it to our USB and plug it in in the 3D printer and start the printing process.